use water cool uh, hold on a second sorry about that right use water cooler uh okay that did uh, something search desk search trash can search filing cabinets all right nothing here oh confidential sticker oh, i thought it was something <laughs> anyways to a detective rummaging through a trash can was like opening a treasure treasure chest just with more gum and cigarette butts gross all right what do we find in here my initial assessment looks like a lot of trash A rotten sandwich, napkins, belly button lint. Wait a second. Documents? There's a note here that's been torn up. Could be a clue. Cool. Uh, another one of these uh, gets. Alright. Uh, get this one as well. Wait. Corgi Corporation? Bit weird. Uh, hmm. Alright, just like that. Cool. Too easy. They should have used the shredder. Dear Trudy, sorry to hear that you are, uh, you are having more trouble with the machine. Someone will be out to take a look at it Monday. Sincerely, John J. Exor. Uh, from the office of John uh, CEO Corgi Corporation. Man's best vends. Vends? Not sure. Oh, we can uh, put clues. All right. So, the hell is this company? Oh, well, let's flip. In the meantime, use this. Uh, please don't pass this around, John. Oh, what is this? I know secret codes when I see one. This could be useful. All right, cool. We got the secret code to something. Let's search the desk. Someone works here, or at least they did. Judging by the dead plants and dusty typewriter, no one's been here for a while. Alright, there's nothing there, okay. Uh, let's check the other sides. Use the water cooler again. Didn't do nothing. Let's search the filing cabinets. Empty. Alright. Oh, something in the sofa here. It was always a good idea to put your hand between the crusty crevices of a sofa cushion. All kinds of exotic things could be found. What's this? Scrap for a postcards. Sweet. Use the other water. There's so many water coolers here, though. Oh, I bet you those are the codes. That has something to do with the code, those water coolers. Detectivating, detective, detectiving was hungry work, and Jenny couldn't remember the last time she'd eaten anything. What I really want is a hot coffee, so she perused the selection of all on offer. Let's see here, kiss of death. The hell is this? Kiss of death. Well, at least they're honest. Oh, it's actually cigarettes. Okay, never mind then. Um. Is this a chocolate bar? Big Crunch fights hunger with a punch. I've had one of these before. Tastes like cardboard. Eh, what's this then? Bunch of nuts. <laughs> Gross. I hate peanut butter. There's got to be something better than this. There's uh, What's this? A key? The key. Open the door to yum. These candy names are getting ridiculous. What kind of vending machine doesn't serve coffee? Jenny found it hard to focus without her unusual, uh, without her usual evening brew. Perhaps a nice bar of chocolate would help. This is a waste of time. How is a chocolate bar going to help me open that door? And that's when it hit her. The the input for this machine is actually the codes, and the key is what we want to get. The key. Open the door to Yum. Surely a humorous but irrelevant tagline. It's the perfect shape to fit in the slot on the door. A mere coincidence. It's literally a key to the door. 
I, uh, I, it'd be, it'd be a rather strange place to hide a key. Stranger than a waiting room beneath a graveyard. That's my ticket out of here. B31, got it. It's not gonna be B31, though. I'm just gonna try it anyways. Insert coin. I don't have any chance. Uh, change, sorry. Let me just check the codes. Oh, this one, this one, and this one. There we go. Service. Alright, uh, I want to B31 now. What? Three. Oh, these are uh, uh, messed up. Uh, B. Uh, this one. And that one. Nope. Damn it. One, B, three. They're uh, swapped around. There we go. Got it. Oh, no. Typical <laughs> stupid machine. <laughs> Give me the key. It's no good. It's stuck. How can I get the key out? Uh, maybe push something on top of it? Uh, what's this one? A12? Let's, tr let's try that one. Oh, I can't use the number one again. Oh, I can't use any of them. Okay. Uh, let's see. Put my finger, put my hand in there? In the slots? No. Oh, maybe unplug the machine? Mm, I, I don't think so. It's leaning forward against the glass. Okay. We gotta... Oh, there's a sticker here. Alright, so can we put our hands in the slot here? No, we cannot still. Alright, uh, let me see. What the fuck? What can I actually use then? Uh, how can I grab this key? Oh, what's this? Oh. That's why it's stuck. short leg stuck on glass really because of a short leg a short leg okay uh, the machine has one short leg making it lean forward and to the right just have to tilt the machine okay fair enough if I tilt the machine to the left I should be able to get the key out are we strong enough though but Jenny what uh, okay Jenny wasn't strong enough to lift a vending machine by herself I'm going to need some leverage all right so we need to find something uh, oh. Hold up. What's behind the door here? Aha! This is how we get the leverage. Of course! I can use the mob to tilt the machine. A little bit of legwork and I'll be... I'll have that key out in no time. Just a little bit more. Perfect. I did it. Oh, shit. Oh, my days. Oh, crap. Uh, maybe someone heard that. It's just chocolate? Of course, it came from a vending machine, but I thought, why would anyone hide the key to a giant metal door inside the candy bar? Actually, now that I think about it, it does sound pretty ridiculous. Maybe it's the wrapper or something, maybe it has a coat. Ah, oh, damn it. But necessity was the mother of invention. Jenny may have failed to open the mysterious door, but thanks to her ingenuity, she had created her own way through. Oh, okay. Really? Alright. Fair enough. Going through the hole then. She peered inside the hole. It was just wide enough for her to squeeze through. Alright, sweet. Uh, we carry on adventuring then. Shall we go all the way to the left here, see if there's anything? Well, look what we have here. Jenny shone her flashlight on the damage, damaged section of the brick wall. I can see through the, to the other side. 
The path ahead was dark and foreboding, but Jenny was too excited to be afraid, and so, without hesitation, she crawled into a ro the rocky passageway. Oh shit, I should have gone, <laughs> have gone the other way then. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that is very crammed. Hopefully we don't uh, nick our back in some like... Like rocks, or like jagged rocks. Alright, looks like we're through. Should be fine now. Alright, sweet. What's this? Oh, the entrance to the mines. Tunnel 12, stay out, stay alive. Just another friendly message, warning of my impending doom. The Glatz Mining Corp. <laughs> Jenny! Speaking of Glatz... Don't do that. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure you're okay. The walkie-talkies are for emergencies only, not chit-chat. I'm about to enter one of the abandoned mines. I can't have you distracting me. An abandoned mine? Be careful, Jenny. Those tunnels are dangerous. This is the case of a lifetime. Of course it's dangerous. But you'll get lost. Those tunnels run underneath the entire town. Exactly. One of them must lead to the jail. You're right. I bet I can find... I can find it on my map. What are you talking about? What map? In my, gran in my granddad's journal, he was a great cartographer and mapped out all... Mapped out of all the tunnels. And you've had this with you the whole time? I always keep it with me. It makes me feel close to him. Convenience. <laughs> Why didn't you tell me this before? I didn't know you were going to end up in the mines. Fine, I'm in tunnel 12. See if I, uh, you can find it on the map. Okay, I'm on it, Jenny. The barricade was old and rotten. Don't be hard to remove if I find a weak spot. Alright, perfect. Get this out of the way. Yes. Uh, oh, looks like this is a weak spot. Perfect. Another one here. Go oh, the... Uh, God, alright. Continue to break free. Nice. I mean, uh, it doesn't look. If this if this wood here is all rotten and old, I mean, the rest of the wood inside the tunnel would be as well, right? I mean, how safe could this actually be? Uh, anywho, so let's uh, just carry on. <laughs> Taper into the tunnel, we go. Fearless. Uh, looks like we can't run in this uh, area. Somebody else is here. Oh my god, they're the miners. It's the ghosts of the miners. No way. Who, who goes there? Jenny looked like she's seen a ghost. Just my imagination. It's just my imagination. A great detective deals in facts, not fiction. Oh snap. It was hard for even Jenny's logical mind to deny what was standing right in front of her. It's just my imagination. Just my imagination. Ghosts of the trapped miners. Ooh. All right, let's just continue on. Let's let's leave them be and rest. I mean, they're not doing us any harm. So push boulder. How am I going to move this? It's huge. Oh, she's pushing pushing in the wrong direction. Oh, are the, are the miners going to help me? No way. All right, sick. Oh, thank you guys. So helpful. 
It's spooky how easy that was. Yeah. Uh, let me just see what's up here. Make sure I don't miss anything. Oh, it's just uh, we can't really go that way yet. Alright. On to the left then. Left or right? Can't jump to that ladder. Uh, let's see here. Looks like we're going further in. Oh, what's this? Take a paper. Memorandum. 12 workers. Article 1. Pay increase. Congratulations! A raise of 0.6% has been approved with immediate effect. In addition, all workers are permitted one additional toilet break per day. Article 2. Absence. Until further notice, all requests for a leave of absence will be denied, and all prior allowances uh, rescinded. At this critical time, production levels must be maintained. Wait, Can I, could I flip? Yeah. Act Article 3. Research and development. Do not disturb the white coats. Their job is to keep you safe. Do not interrupt their work. Article 4. No access areas. You will have noticed the new signs. These are for your own safety. Anyone caught trespassing will be removed and detained by police. Article 5. Confidentiality agreement. You have now signed agreement. Any breach will be dealt with severely. Uh, your, cooperation is your cooperation is appreciated. The work you do here will be remembered. Right. Those are the largest crystals I've ever seen. They must be worth a fortune. Why would the Glatz Corporation just abandon all this? Something terrible happened here, man. For sure. I mean, apart from the uh, caving in, or the cave in, I bet something else happened. Alright, can we. There was a card there, but I'm not sure. I have to do something with it. I don't really know. Okay, let's go the other side here. And just let's let's just push this. See where that takes us. Oh, I can't really push it. Oh, I actually can. Yeah. Okay. Push it. Oh, so we can access the ladder here. Okay, that makes sense. All right. Completely forgot about that. Wait, can I make the jump? All right, I can. But uh... oh man. Is this another one of these machines? Yes. Another piece of scrap. It was hard for even Jenny's logical mind to deny that what was standing right in front of her. Another transmitter. Does that mean there's another Zazer sphere around here somewhere? Potentially. All right. Uh, let me let, let me go to the right here before I do anything. Oh, is this just a way back? I think it's just a way back, though. Yeah, because we came from here. Okay, never mind that. I was killing me. Alright, to the left it is. Jump. Okay, so I wonder why the, the the giant metal door. Obviously, that wasn't going to a secret base. I thought, I thought it would, but anyways, Jenny, I've got to get out of it, out of there. You got to get out of there. What? Why? 
You're right in the middle of Prospector's Pit. So what? Don't you remember from Mr. Jenkins' history class? That's where all those miners died. There was a huge cave-in. Hundreds of men were crushed to death. Even more died from the lack of oxygen. Not helpful. And now their ghosts roam the tunnels, eternally searching for escape. Don't be ridiculous. I found Tunnel 12 on the map. This isn't going to be easy. Just tell me where I need to go. Well, you need to find Crystal Cavern. It'll be huge and full of quartz crystals. Directly above it are the sewers. And the sewers run underneath the jail. Got it. But Jenny, what if you're crushed by a rock or murdered by a ghost? You could contract Miner's Lung, and that's a horrible, painful way to die. Thanks for the pep talk, Susie. I got this. Don't you worry. Find the crystal cavern, okay. Here's a little what? Here's a little leverage to find a way through. Okay. Perfect. It's just uh Oh, we're just pushing the guy with it. Alright. Can I jump? Oh, okay. Now I should be able to. These uh, ghosts seem uh, friendly enough, so... Oh, is this a dead end? Wait, okay. It was the other way I should have pushed it. Alright, just climb. Climb the... F yeah, thank you. There we go. Are we approaching the crystal cavern? Is that why the music's going all... Uh... Angelical? Alright, let's break another one of these. Oh man, this is one big cave. Or mine. Oh, here we go. That must be it. Alright. So... Above this should be the sewers. Another Zazer Sphere. In the mines belonging to the Glatz Corporation, no less. Susie said Zazer worked for Glatz Com Corporation. But in his journal, Zazer said the Council of Three built these spheres. There's no way they could have built this without the Glatz approval. Maybe one of the Glatz belongs to the Council of Three? Push the button here. We need power. Sweet. Oh, you have a couple more machines this time around. I think. Alright, so here we go again. Oh, uh, well, hello, old friend. What secret message might you be hiding? Alright, so let's start with uh, changing both of these. Uh, frequency, maybe a little bit. Yeah, something like this. Gain. Yeah, lower it down. Filter it. Oh god. That's the little tweaks. Oh! Oh, come on, dude, that was like, that's so close to it. Uh, there we go. 
Another code. Another piece of the message. Sweet. Let's do this one more time. Uh, right. Uh, so we have bear 83. Bear 32 as well. Uh, rabbit 44. Might as well just do this while we're here. Okay. Uh, Hawk and the Weasel. We have nothing. Wolf and ship, no. Uh, goose and egg, all right. Goose nine. Egg thirty-four. Wait, what was it? There we go. And then uh, goose sixty-three. And finally, we have whale fifty. Somewhere around here, here we go. End this maze, run home, magical cake? That doesn't make any sense. How does magical cake fit in? She read the whole message out loud again. Soon they will all listen, relieve their rancid past. Purge infected, soon only death, forever silenced. Despair herself is near. End this maze, run home. Magical cake. She tried reading it in a different order, but it didn't make a difference. Until this moment, Jenny has assumed had assumed that transmissions formed a single coherent message. Now I'm starting to wonder if this is a message at all. Yet still, the question remains: Who is sending these, and why? All right, so uh, makes no sense this message. All right. Or the other ones, for that matter of fact, so... Looks like we're, we can conduct another experiment here. Let's try this again. Hopefully, it doesn't break this time. So, the combination was... Oh. It changes every time. Okay. What? Was that not it? Oh, okay, of course, yes. Forgot to press the last one. Okay, so let's turn this on. Let's see what happens. Good evening, S32. Printing access card, please stand by. What the hell is it doing? Uh, thank you? It's a key! It was about the same size and shape as a bar of chocolates. Of course! It has the same logo as the giant metal door. This must be... This must open it. Alright, sweet! Are we gonna have to backtrack all the way there? I guess so. Alright, let's get out of here then. Uh, but first, 
Let's uh, push this lever then. Please enter authorization code to begin. Oh, we still don't have that. Uh, it must be lying around here somewhere though. Here we go. Another blank piece of paper. Let's see if we can jog out your memory. For the last time it's called a secret code for a reason. I even made it your birthday. Imagine if a child somehow got in here and started running the machine. <laughs> 0719. Thank goodness this guy wrote down all the codes, otherwise I'd be trapped here forever. Whoever you are, mystery man, thank you very much. Please enter our codes. 0719. Code accepted. System authoriz authorizing arms for activation. Alright, let's pull the lever. Bam. Please stand by. What the hell is going on? What the fuck? Oh my god. Jenny didn't know what she started, but she had to stop it before the whole laboratory came crashing down. Experiment 15 aborted. Operation sec unsuccessful. Data set incomplete. What just happened? I thought I was going to die. Remember, a healthy employee is an effective employee. Please take your mandatory 15 minute break, smoking break, decompressing the spherical chamber. Oh, what is that? Let's find out. Curious. We'll find out on the next episode. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll catch you all on the flip side. Bye bye.